In this episode of Embark, the evolution of innovation, Norwegian Cruise Line forges ahead, continuing to reimagine the vacation of a lifetime. It's always an evolution, and we said we got to do something even better. From a revolutionary new terminal in Port Miami. On one side, you get a beautiful view of South Beach, and then the other side, you get a beautiful view of the sun setting in the evening. To the magic of creating every groundbreaking detail of this next revelation at sea. The size of this work is really massive. I think the ship is really where the action is at. There is everything you could ever want to see in a vessel on board and more. A new concept in cruising is on the horizon, on the cutting edge of design, comfort and luxury. This vessel will be so unique and so exceptional that I'm sure that passenger will be astonished having a cruise on her. She's a perfect ship. Welcome everyone, I'm Simon Akinwaleri, Cruise Director for Norwegian Cruise Line. From our inception, Norwegian Cruise Line has always looked for ways to push boundaries. And that commitment continues today as we look to the future. In our third and final episode of Embark with NCL, the evolution of innovation, we're going to take a look at what's to come new and trailblazing innovations that will be revealed right here, right now. Let's start with our brand new flagship terminal, the Pearl of Miami. We've really designed this to be an extraordinary facility. The design of the building is space age. I mean, there is no other building like that in the world. There's almost 8,000 tons of steel in here. Just imagine a baby blue whale is a thousand tons. What this new NCL terminal means to Miami-Dade County is that NCL has made a huge commitment to headquarter their largest vessels right here at Port Miami. Modern cruising was born in Miami in 1966, so it's always had a special place in our heart. And we've always looked to have a big footprint in Miami. This is the cruise capital of the world. All terminals pretty much looked like uh, an older warehouse or a sophisticated warehouse. There wasn't this beautiful type of facility that we have now, which really are architectural signatures. We were able to work with the Port of Miami to stand up a new terminal on a brand new piece of land in the port. It was an opportunity that we couldn't pass up. Through a public-private partnership, uh, the major cruise companies have uh, built wonderful terminals. They go down MacArthur Causeway, you can see them there. But of course, our terminal, the Pearl of Miami, is special. And it's called Pearl of Miami because its outer sheath is translucent. And when the sun hits it, and the, that beautiful Miami sun hits it, it has that pearl-like um, look to it. And since it's round, it's a perfect name for that structure. There's super high cathedral length windows on both sides of the terminal building. So on one side, you get a beautiful view of South Beach and the sun rising in the morning. And then the other side, you get a beautiful view of downtown Miami, the magic city, and the sun setting in the evening. And this feeling of light and airiness really sets people on the first step of their wonderful vacation experience out of Miami. There's 122,000 square feet of gap glass. These chairs are actually um, really comfortable and they look beautiful. And the carpeting is supposed to sort of tell the story of your vacation, the beach, the water, the sand, and it sort of brings you into a sort of tropical, but yet relaxed environment. It's great to have your own terminal that really feels like an extension of the ship. It prepares the guests for what that experience on board is gonna be like, because they get it from the second they walk in the door. It screams, hey, this is a Norwegian Cruise Line experience. We've spared no expense to make this a truly revolutionary experience for our guests. Now, of course, with our new 10-minute check-in, people won't have a chance to enjoy too much time in the terminal building, but we think they'll enjoy the time that they spend. It does feel more welcoming. It's a lot of fun, um, and it gets your energy going right away. As soon as you step in the door, you feel like, I am ready to go on a cruise. That terminal is amazing. I can assure you that from the minute you walk through those doors, you'll know what we mean when we say that NCL is doing our part to redefine the future of the cruise industry. As you can see, 
Innovation is at the forefront of everything we do. And if you ask me, Encel does it best. Now, we are on the verge of launching a new class of ships, the next evolution in passenger cruising. This is a defining moment for NCL. And once again, our mission to reimagine luxury, design, and functionality has come together to create one very unique ship. A new era of cruising has truly begun. So, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, we give you Norwegian Prima. It has been decades since NCL pioneer Knut Cluster brought his first passenger ship from Norway to Miami. And forever on the cutting edge, Norwegian Cruise Line continues that same commitment to the evolution of innovation. It's always an evolution, right? It's never, oh, let's do this crazy thing. And so we saw what people loved about the Breakaway Plus class vessels, Encore, Bliss, Joy, Escape. And we said, we gotta do something even better. And so a new class of ships is now on the horizon, taking NCL to heights beyond anyone's wildest dreams. Her name is Norwegian Prima. This vessel will be so unique and so exceptional that I'm sure that passenger will be astonished having a, a cruise on, on her. With the most outdoor deck space for any new cruise ship and the most spacious accommodations, Norwegian Prima will elevate the onboard guest experience in every way possible. You know, one of the things that we're proud with the Prima class is that Instead of following some of the other cruise lines and making our ships bigger and bigger and bigger, we're actually making the Prima class smaller. It's very rare that you ever see a succeeding series or class of vessels being smaller than the previous one. But that's exactly what we did, because we innovate. There is a completely new uh, concept uh, to bring the passenger more close to the ship. The, the configuration of the spaces outside, the connection with the sea, the possibility to enjoy different areas, and the design is something that is really a cutting edge for uh, this kind of vessels. Norwegian Prima will have 20 decks of luxury and accommodations for over 3,300 guests, pushing the boundaries in service, style, and variety. The ship is going to be about the same size as Breakaway, uh, about 140,000 tons and change, but it'll carry about 700 passengers less. And what we're able to do with that space is create more public spaces for our guests and also create larger cabin staterooms. It's a more spacious stateroom than what we're seeing as a general industry trend for this type of vessel. There's a lot of great guest comfort features built into this stateroom that we're not seeing in the market now. NCL worked with the design team of Miami studio Dado to bring their new vision to life. Whether they travel with us to Italy to look at the mock-ups or we're presenting in their offices here in Miami, they're committed and, and they want to know every single finish, every single material that's going to be installed on these vessels. There is everything you could ever want to see in a vessel on board Prima and, and more. The design is cutting edge, she looks different. Usually the aft part uh, of, a, of a vessel, the, the open decks are the, more, the, the most quiet one because they are protected by the wind. You can have the gorgeous view of the wake of the ship, it's very romantic, it's, very, it's a beautiful place. And you can also have a sort of 360 degrees of view. I think this ship really did a, a really strong effort at capturing that, that base of travelers, which are independent travelers, you know, millennium people. They want to make sure that they have access to technology no matter where they are. So I think this ship is really going to deliver on that. You know, of course, everything that's inside of her draws from the past, but also looks towards the future. It's the magnificent racetrack, bigger, better, bolder than previous models. Galaxy Pavilion will have extraordinary virtual reality and AI games and, and things to do inside. For the thrill seeker, NCL takes its evolution of innovation beyond all expectations with a slide that scales the side of the ship from deck 18 to deck 8 with the highest G-forces at sea. 
And for the art lover, Frank Del Rio has curated a beautiful collection for this vessel that will include a sculpture garden. Some travelers may not have the luxury of seeing beautiful art pieces in museums and such. He is there down to the detail of what art is being selected for what venue. The ship will, uh, we will have uh, in incredible spaces uh, in terms of entertainment, both inside and outside the vessel. Inside we will have an incredible theater, three-story one, with a movable seat that uh, will be able to become one of the most incredible theater during some part of the day and an incredible nightclub at night. There's all kinds of activities, restaurants opening out, in it onto this ocean boulevard in a much bigger way than ever before. We're e evolving the restaurant menus. I've had the pleasure to participate in several tastings of the new menus that will be rolled out starting on Prima throughout the entire fleet. And we can see the influence of the sister brands in terms of the cuisine, we talked about the evolution. She's a perfect ship. I'm uh, extremely positive that Prima will be something incredible in the market. I'm sure that uh, when the ship will start to sail in 2022, it's gonna be something marvelous for the passenger. And they're gonna have so much to choose from that no one's gonna wanna leave this ship. I think the ship is really where the action is at. There is a great desire from leadership at NCL that they want every guest when they leave the ship to walk off the vessel and say, this is the best vacation experience I've ever had in my life. They're gonna say, really, this is, I only paid X dollars for all this? I mean, it is the value of all values. Cruising is a fantastic value. And Norwegian Cruise Line offers top value with our free at sea promotions. And you, when you put all that together on a brand new, beautifully designed, cutting edge ship like Prima, you've hit the nail on the head. And there you have it. The all new and first of its kind, Norwegian Prima. The perfect combination of style, innovation and beauty. This ship is truly a work of art. Speaking of art, Norwegian Prima is designed to surround our guests in an elegant environment, both inside and out. A big part of its design includes cutting-edge hall art that was created by an Italian artist named Peter. Let's meet him now. My artwork is spread all over the world. I've been painting murals in almost every continent since the last 25, 30 years. And my name is Peter and I am an artist, I am a painter, I am a sculptor. My background is a graffiti artist. What I do is very dynamic, but it's the main focus is urban street art. Because I live in a city surrounded by water, right? And I love the boats, I love the, the idea of traveling with a boat. And they give me that mental state that is inspiring for, in general, for my life and for my other works as well. Norwegian Cruise Line called me one day and they asked me if I, I was interested in designing some decoration that it's gonna be on the outside of the ship. So you never painted or even thought about painting a cruise ship before. You either fall in love with a piece of art immediately or you don't. If you have to look at it from this angle and from that angle to see if you like it, no. And so I never liked the 50 or 60 they brought me before. I always found something wrong with it. And of course they were pulling their hair because they couldn't please me. And then I saw it. I saw it in a rendering and I said, that's it. I mean, it was like that instant, that's the one. To work for a company that values art that much is, is really important for me because they give me the opportunity to express myself. Hey. Composition of fluid, very curvy lines. You're not gonna see flying fish and turtles in the bow. It's sophisticated. I focus my attention on the color and the dynamics of the lines that design the geometry of the work. And I wanted to have 
something very fluid and dynamic because I wanted to relate to the water and at the same time I didn't want to make something too colorful that it's too strong and I wanted it to be something more delicate and subtle. The size of this work is really massive and it's so far the, the biggest painting I ever painted. I hope people when they are on board they will feel excited to travel and inspired to dream. The opportunity to have my work on the ship that is traveling around the world is absolutely very exciting. It's absolutely mind-blowing for me as an artist to have something like that. Um, you know, it's once-in-a-lifetime experience. It's probably one of the best clients I ever had. Absolutely beautiful. Some of the artwork featured on those buildings in Venice is just stunning. Now a ship this special and this unique deserves a very special cruise director. And that's me. So what do you say? Come join me on board for the vacation experience of a lifetime. And one last surprise for you all. Norwegian Prima is set to launch very soon from our newest incredible port of call. Where you may ask? Let's take a look. Well, Reykjavik, here we come. For all those watching, thanks for taking this journey with us. I hope to see you on board soon. From all of us at Norwegian Cruise Line, I'm Simon Nakinwaleri. Bon voyage.